Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. This year, we are taking the opportunity to interview some very talented entrepreneurs so that you can learn a little bit more about them and how they work. Please feel free to connect with any of our interviewees. Their contact details are gonna appear in the description box below. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and like or love our channel. Thanks. Phil, for those who don't know you and your work, what is Action Coach? Okay, so um, Action Coach is a, a business coaching organization um, that operates in 72 countries around the world. Uh, but from my point of view, um, I bought a franchise with Action Coach because what I wanted to do was enable uh, other business owners, small business owners locally and in the London area to grow their business and, and ultimately to create a business that could work without them, whether that is uh, making more money, whether that involves making more money, sorry, whether that involves um, getting in better control of our time, so we're getting best results from the time we're actually putting in, mm -hmm. or whether that involves getting better results from our team. Um, so what I do is I coach small business owners on a week to week or fortnight to fortnight basis to help them, uh, help support them in the areas where they're not sure what they're doing and to hold them to account when they know exactly what they're doing and they just need someone to give them a kick up the butt to make sure they're doing it. Very nice. Very nice. And look, um, those of you who don't follow Phil on LinkedIn, I obviously recommend that you do. Um, and your clients on there, they're always uh, endorsing your services, how you increase sales and, and you know, lead generation. Um, how do you get these results? Yeah, OK, so um, I suppose it depends who I'm sitting in front of. Um, like I said, there, there are certain people really that, that maybe they're great at what they do. They're, they're a great mm -hmm. accountant for argument's sake. Um, they're a great uh, design agency. They're great at what they do. But what tends to happen is most people go into business accidentally. But they, they become good at something. And then when they start their own business, even when they've been running it for a while, they realize maybe they've got holes in their education in terms of um, staff retention, in terms of lead generation, in terms of um, managing our time better, um, in terms of recruitment. Um, so what I do is I help them in the areas where they've got dark spots in their, in their knowledge base. Um, but also there are people that know what they need to do. I call them ideas people where they've got 727 ideas and they're not clear on what they need to do first and how to get started. And a lot of it, a lot of it leads to procrastination. And um, so really my aim is to help people keep them focused and give them clarity, I think, which is a key word as to which route they want to go down and how they're going to get there. And then what I do is I hold them to account to make sure they're doing the things that we agree on in each coaching session. And mysteriously, that seems to work. <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, glad to hear. Um, magicians and tricks never revealed, but here they are today. So that's fantastic. But look, aside from that, um, you're very well known for, for your support of SMEs uh, and, and business owners. Um, you know, not all of them are your clients, uh, I guess. Where, where does that motivation come from? Why do you have that passion? OK, so so um, I used to run a, um, a marketing agency for 17 years. And uh, for the last, well, I think it was two years before um, I, I, I actually uh, stopped running that agency, mm -hmm. um, I wanted to sell the business. So I actually hired a, a coach, an action oh. coach as well, funnily enough. Um, and he came in and told me, unfortunately, the business wasn't worth anything. So I was looking to sell maybe and to work out exactly what I wanted to do next. And, and I said, well, that doesn't make much sense. The business has been there for 17 years. We've got a great client base. We've got 15 great staff members, but it won't work without me clearly. So, so what's going on? And he said, well, look, we need to systemize the business to actually mm -hmm. get it to work without you. Um, so we spent two years doing that. We re reduced the reliance on me, essentially made myself redundant from my own business. And then we were in a position to sell the business. So then I thought, and to answer your question, um, then I thought, well, hang on a minute. Maybe there are other business owners that feel a little bit trapped. Maybe they're not particularly excited about their business anymore. They've fallen out of love with it to an extent. So I could maybe help them systemize the business. But mm -hmm. then it became apparent that it's just not, not only about systemization. It's about building profit. It's about getting better results from the team. And it's about getting better results from your time as well. So I figured that because I'd enjoyed being coached so much, I would actually look at becoming a coach so I could help other people um, and part of the part of the, the pleasure I get is is my clients wins you know when I hear that they've 
they've actually sealed a huge contract or whether I, when I find out they've hired someone that's working out really well for them, that's what gets me out of bed in the morning. No, fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, great. And look back to this systemization uh, and everyone working differently. Um, just be interested to get your take. You know, we're on, we're on Zoom now. We love Zoom. Um, <laughs> but do you think, uh, and are you advising your clients about the dangers of going too virtual in their business or are you totally, you know, all for it? I'm, I'm all for testing and measuring. Um, so I do know people that say that I only, I can only sell when I'm face to face. I can't sell on Zoom. I think partly that's uh, um, an excuse. So a lot of people mm -hmm. will you use Zoom or use virtual as an excuse as to why they're no good, why they can't do something. Mm -hmm. But I would always challenge those people and say, um, so what you're telling me is, is that no one can sell on Zoom. No one can make this happen. And then when, when they start to think a bit more logically about things, they might think, oh, actually, it, it, it can work. It can work really well. We can build relationships. Personally, my personal opinion is that face-to-face -face is better than Zoom because mm -hmm. you, do lose, you do lose something. Um, and although meetings do tend to stick to time better on Zoom, what tends to happen is face-to-face -face is there's a little less pressure on in terms of time and, and actually some of the, the the tangential discussions that we have can actually uh, can actually bring out some great ideas that you wouldn't necessarily get when you're you're stuck in a half an hour or a one hour time frame on zoom no it's interesting to get your take on it and thanks you know thanks for that um look obviously as ever any conversation with you a lot of interesting ideas and hopefully for people watching a lot of sparks flying as well as to how you know you could potentially uh, collaborate together in the future just for those people uh, wondering how to get in touch with you um, how can they do that okay so they can either email me at the email address behind me which is philip chantry at actioncoach.com mm -hmm. um, or alternatively they can if this is going out on linkedin they can just direct message me on linkedin and uh Happy to have an introductory chat, a virtual coffee, if you like, on Zoom, just to find out a bit more about what you're trying to achieve, how you're trying to achieve it, and maybe what's stopping you getting there at the moment. Uh, but more than happy to, to catch up in that method. Okay, great. So, yeah, for anyone watching wants a virtual coffee, check out the description uh, below. Thanks, Fantastic. Phil. Thank you very much, Lawrence. Appreciate your time. Thank you.